Hey guys, what's up? It's Sagatardy 2744 and today I want to show you three tricks that people don't normally realize that are default on your iOS device. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Now all these tips will be found in settings, so opening up settings here for the first tip, you go ahead and scroll down, find general, go ahead and click on that, go all the way down to accessibility, and white on black is the first trick, which basically it hires the contrast on your iOS device. This also works on the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad. Uh, so basically as you guys can see it alters the colors a little bit and it's kind of cool. Uh, some people actually call it a theme. It's not really a theme. It's just a change in the contrast on your iOS device. Now turning off white on black there, uh, the second one I'll be showing you is zoom which allows you to zoom in on anything on your iOS device with a tap of three fingers. So let's go ahead and use three fingers to zoom in, three fingers to move around, and three fingers to zoom back out. Like I said, this works on anywhere on your iOS device, so you can do it on the home screen, the menu, wherever you want to do it, in a browser, and you can also move through if you have a hard time reading some of the things on your iOS device. Third thing I want to go ahead and show you is how to make a more advanced passcode lock. Uh, in this case, instead of having the simple four key passcode, you can go ahead and turn off simple passcode, type in your old passcode, and type in a new passcode that could be very well more difficult. Uh, one, two, three, four, that'll go ahead and just set it as uh, the older passcode, so it has to be over four characters. I'll show you that here in a bit. Shutting off the device, as you guys can see, just four characters. We'll put it into regular mode there, so it'll be one, two, three, four. Uh, but if you go in and you decide to to put on a longer passcode, like for example Billy, which I'll do here in a minute, which is over four characters long and it's not letters, uh, in that case you will be able to use the more advanced passcode, which will allow you to uh, create a passcode that is as long as you want, so it can be very high security. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Billy and click done power off the iOS device, turn it back on, and here is your advanced passcode. Still very nicely organized, just go ahead and type in Billy as the advanced passcode, press OK, and you are into your iOS device. Those are basically some of the tips I want to show you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is iGuitarD2744. As usual, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe for more of the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Please be sure to also leave your comments, questions, or any concerns in the comment section below. Please also be sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. In the description below, also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and my live shows. Thank you guys for watching. This is iGuitarD2744.